Welcome to Gagauzia. It may look like a tranquil haven, but in the wake of the crisis in Ukraine, this small Russian-speaking territory in southern Moldova is bitterly torn between east and west. The European Union, what more could it do for us? And how would we become members? We don't speak any European languages, and also everything's more expensive there, starting with taxes. In February, a local referendum saw 98% of voters in favour of closer ties with Russia, saying "net" to the EU. That goes directly against plans for the rest of Moldova, which is expected to formally sign an association agreement with the EU by 2015. It's not about sentimentality, but simply a pragmatic relationship with Russia. The people of Gagausia are pragmatic. They want to protect the Russian market to continue to sell their goods to the East. If we sign this agreement with the European Union, Moldova will face serious problems. In a bid to win over Gagauzia, Moscow recently lifted an embargo on wine imports from the region while keeping restrictions on the rest of Moldova. But few here would want to see a Crimea-style scenario play out. The people of Gagauzia are more committed to the sovereignty of Moldova than the Moldovans themselves. They know very well that if Moldova loses its sovereignty, Gagauzia will find itself in an uncertain situation, and that frightens them. For the moment, the situation here remains calm, though there may be forks in the road ahead.